This video is how to get set up on and use MetaMask. There's been a few upgrades for this year, so we'll go over those. And I also wanna show you how to get set up with MetaMask on your browser, how to add networks and tokens, um, and then send crypto in and out of the wallet as well. Um, and we're gonna get set up with Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Polygon, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Um, and then how to use some of the applications on those blockchains as well to swap tokens or to earn some yield or anything that you want to do. Timestamps for each section are below and some other helpful videos are down there as well. I do recommend having a look. The first thing we want to do is actually just download MetaMask. So if you're brand new, come to metamask.io and you can download it. There's actually an app so you can use iOS and Android um, to download on your phone. I would, would recommend that as well. Um, or you can download it on these browsers. Um, so Edge, Brave, Firefox or Chrome. It will come as an extension on those. Once you've downloaded MetaMask, it's going to take you through the setup process um, which you can follow. But really the main thing is the recovery phrase that it's going to give you. It's I think 12 to 24 words and it tells you to write those down and then it's going to basically test you that you've written them down so you have to re-enter them. That recovery phrase is the most important thing. A recovery phrase allows you to access the wallet from any other device. So if you have a hardware wallet, if you download MetaMask on your phone or on a different computer, if you have that recovery phrase, you can access your wallet again. What that means is that if someone else has access to your recovery phrase, they also have access to your wallet and everything within it. So that recovery phrase is basically like the password to your bank account. So keep it somewhere extremely safe, write it down on paper. Um, you know, some people write it down on metal so that it can't get, um, you know, disturbed or, or, you know, fire damaged or water damaged. It is the most important thing. So write that down, keep it safe. Um, and if you ever get locked out or can't access your account, you'll need that recovery phrase. The next thing is a password. That's just like a, a, a browser based password that you can use to actually access the account on each browser. So two different things, but recovery phrase is definitely important to get access to the wallet again. So once you've got it downloaded, it will basically um, take you through to this screen. I'm gonna click on expand view, um, and this is basically the wallet. You might just wanna look at your settings before you get going. So there's a few things to know. The first one is that you can link it with your mobile device from here. So if you come up to this right here and click on settings, um, and then you can go to advanced, and you can, you can see it sync up with mobile. So it's gonna take you through that process if you want. You can also reset the account, which means all your um, transactions will be removed, but all of the balances will remain. Um, so obviously, you know, you can't take balances out of the account just by resetting it. But if you wanna reset all of the transactions, you can do that here. The other thing um, is security and privacy. So if you do want to reveal your recovery phrase again, maybe you, know, you, you need it, then you can do that. Um, and then the networks is the other thing which we'll get onto, but it's very simple. You just uh, put the currency that you want in here, change some settings, you can do that as you wish, um, but it's pretty simple. The next thing we might want to do once we've uh, got a MetaMask up and running is add tokens. The way that we add a token in from a trustworthy list is by going to either CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. Both of these are fine um, and they will give you the same thing. So we're on Ethereum, right? So we need to add an Ethereum token. So we're gonna go down to an Ethereum token like Polygon. And then on the right hand side for CoinGecko, you can see the contract address. This is what we can copy and paste to know we're getting the right token. You can actually just click on add to MetaMask directly and it will do that. Or you can copy the contract address. So click copy and then go back to MetaMask um, to paste it in. So what I'm gonna do, take this out, click paste, and you can see that we've got the Matic Network token, it's known as Polygon now, um, and then you can add that in. It won't let me add it in because if I click out of here, you can see I've actually added it in already. Um, so that is how you add tokens. If you can't see the token that you've added in or you can't see a token that you want, that is how you add it into MetaMask. The next thing we can do is add different networks into MetaMask. So you don't just have to use the Ethereum mainnet, you can use Polygon, Matic Chain, you can use Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Arbitrum, a bunch of other chains as well, all compatible with um, EVM, with, with Ethereum. So the way that we do this is we need the information to begin with. Um, once we have that, we can very easily add it in. So come up to Ethereum mainnet and you can see that there's actually um, different options now. I have personally added in Arbitrum, Avalanche, Matic, and Smart Chain, which is Binance already. 
Um, but you can just come down here to add network and it's going to take you through to your settings page and you can add this in. You will need to populate this, um, this information with each of the networks individually. The way that you get that info is by going to the project docs of each uh, blockchain and they will give you this info or type into Google how to add X network to MetaMask and it will show you. But I'm, I've got that already here for you so you can see. The first one is uh, Binance. So I'm on the Binance Academy and we wanna add the main net. So you, you don't wanna you know, use a test net. You want the main net right here. So the network name is Smart Chain. So I'd copy that and then I'd go back to MetaMask and I'd paste it in here. And then the RPC URL. So we'd go and we'd copy paste this. Chain ID is 56. So I'd put 56 in here for the chain ID and so on. Get that information in, um, add it all in here. So that is the, that's the info for Binance Smart Chain. I've also got the info here for Arbitrum, which is a layer two solution. Um, so it reduces fees on the Ethereum mainnet. Um, so that would be the information here. And then over here, we've got the Polygon um, information as well from their website. So you just copy paste that in. Um, and then what you do is go back to MetaMask and you click save and add. That will add in um, all of the networks for you. And that's really important because um, that is the way that you actually use different networks within MetaMask. So now, as you can see, if I go back to my MetaMask, I'm in my Ethereum mainnet account now, but as you can see, I can come up and maybe change to Matic network. This is a different network within my MetaMask wallet. I keep the same address, um, but I'm using the Polygon network and not, Mat and not the Ethereum mainnet now. And then I can change over to Smart Chain um, and I've got some BEP20 tokens in here, which are the Binance Smart Chain tokens. You can also buy crypto directly within MetaMask if you want to do that. I'll just show you the option very quickly. You need to be in your Ethereum mainnet account, come over to buy. This may change depending on where you live. Um, some countries, this isn't supported, um, but you can go through to either Wire or Transact. These are very trusted uh, third parties. They are used in a lot of applications and wallets. Um, so there's no problem using them. You can continue through. These are not MetaMask. These are completely separate entities, um, which are fiat to crypto on ramps. Um, they will let you pay with a card. They'll probably charge you about 1% or so as a fee. Um, it's a little bit on the higher side. What I would recommend is going to an exchange first. So I assume you have one, you know, Binance is good. KuCoin is good. Bybit is good. Uh, Bybit it have a spot market now um, they charge pretty low fees I'll leave some links below to those if you want to check out those exchanges um, a lot of exchanges have sign up offers and deposit bonuses so you can get some extras if you have them so I'll leave those links in the description they're going to be cheaper um, than doing it through this way but you know the option is there if you want it when you do buy crypto on an exchange, to get it into your MetaMask, you're gonna to have to send it over the blockchain to actually get it in there. Um, so this is exactly how you send crypto into your MetaMask account. I'm gonna switch from the Ethereum mainnet over to the Binance Smart Chain because it's way cheaper, um, just to show you for this. So what we're gonna to have to do is um, get some crypto in and we need our wallet address. This is your wallet address up here, so all you have to do is just click uh, copy like this and it's copied in. So what you'll have to do then is go over to your exchange account, whether that's with Binance, KuCoin, Bybit, whatever it is, um, you know, it, it will all be the same. Just go to withdraw, and then it's gonna ask you a coin to withdraw. So I'm happy to, uh, to withdraw BNB, um, and then just paste the address in, and it's automatically gonna show you which um, network that you're using. I can come here and click the network, so you can see um, that this is the only network I can use, which is the Binance Smart Chain, which is exactly the one I want to use. I'm gonna click OK on that. Yes, I'm sure. Um, then I can just go through and put the amount in. So how much do you wanna send? Um, do that, go through that withdrawal process on your exchange. Um, you have to confirm it you know, with your exchange. Um, and as long as the address is all right, that will take a few minutes to come over to your MetaMask account. Once we're waiting for that to go over the blockchain into our Binance account in MetaMask, I'm gonna show you how to send crypto out as well. So it's obviously the direct opposite of what we've just done. Um, but I'm gonna show you this on the Ethereum mainnet because of gas fees. So just we'll, we'll, go, we'll come over to my Binance um, and I'm depositing crypto to my Binance. As an example, you can see I'm using the ETH uh, ERC20 mainnet um, and then my address is here. Ethereum addresses start with OX. So I'm just gonna copy this. 
and then come over to uh, send. Um, so we want to click on send right here um, and then send to and I'm just going to paste this in um, and it recognizes that it is um, an Ethereum address. And then you can see the asset that you want to send. You know, we can choose any of them in here uh, to send over the Ethereum mainnet, but ETH is fine for me. Um, and then the amount that you want to send uh, in dollars. So you can see I've got about $100 in here. So if I want to send 100 like this, you can do that. Um, and then we go through to next. And then it's going to show you the estimated gas fee. So right now you can see that the uh, gas fee to send 100 is around $2. Um, so you know, not bad for Ethereum for sure. So just to send a fee, um, two dollars on the Ethereum mainnet as of making this video, like is really really good. Usually it costs like twenty five bucks to interact with an application, but just a, 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 a easy transfer like this is around two bucks, which is actually very, very good for Ethereum. Um, you can go through and confirm this. Now, what you might want to do also is come over to something like ETH gas station. This is going to basically give you an overview of how much it might cost to send um, transactions over the Ethereum network. Um, now, EIP 1559 has come into uh, to force. So essentially what we can see is there's a faster standard and a safe. Um, fast. If you want your transaction to go through fast, you have to pay a little bit more. Um, and if you want it standard or safe, you can pay a little bit less, but it's going to be a little bit slower. You can see the base fee right here is around three dollars as of making this video right now, which obviously matches up with you know what um, MetaMask told told me as well. So really, with um, the the way that gas fees work now, is that fees are basically fixed. Um, and you you know you can't really choose them. It depends on which application you're using as to what the fees may be, um, and and also the time that you're using it. If the network is very congested, it's going to cost you more to send the transaction. You can see what transactions should cost at the time that you want to send it by using this. This is the base fee, and this is like a tip that you pay to the miner. Ethereum will move over to proof of stake later on, and this is going to change again. But for now, this is correct. So we can go through with that. Um, confirmation, we can press confirm. You'll get a box come up from the right hand side. It says um, sign the transaction. You have to sign, confirm it and everything like that. And then that will essentially go through. I'm going to reject this because I don't want to send those coins. And that's it. So that is sending a, sending a transaction out from MetaMask. Now that my Binance coin has been deposited into my chain account in MetaMask, I can show you that and then I'll show you how to connect MetaMask to applications to go and use them. Um, so I'm in my Binance Smart Chain account here. That has come in, so I've got 0.58 BNB now. Then you might want to connect this account to uh, like a decentralized exchange or a lending protocol to actually use your coins. Um, so I'm going to come over to SushiSwap. This is an example, there are many others, um, but this is a good example of being able to um, link your MetaMask with one application on many different chains. So you can see I've got BSC connected right here. If I click on this, you can see all the options. I can actually click over to Ethereum. It's going to go into my MetaMask. In the bottom, you can see switch network. So I'm going to switch network right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to confirm that, uh, cancel that because I'm on a, another exchange. You can see Ethereum is up in the top right now. So I'm now using the Ethereum mainnet from my MetaMask and I'm going to switch back to Binance Smart Chain. But you can switch to any of these supported chains if they're connected in your MetaMask. So let's switch back to Binance Smart Chain, switch network, yes. Um, and now I'm back on Binance Smart Chain. This will be all the assets in my Binance Smart Chain account within MetaMask that shows up. So I can click on max right here, and that is the you know the, the max I have. Um, and I can use my BNB to now switch into uh, different coins. Uh, for example, Binance US Dollar. Um, so that's going to give me a quote. Um, I'm not going to do this. What I am going to do is use Pancake Swap. So Pancake Swap is you know kind of made for the Binance Smart Chain. So I'm going to show you that in here. Um, so you can see in the top right hand corner, my MetaMask is connected. Um, and if it isn't, just come up here and click connect and it should go through. I'm going to go through to trade like this. Um, and what I can do is come over to the right hand side um, and you can see exchange. So I'm going to use my BNB token balance. You can see that here. I'm actually going to swap in around uh, 0.2 and I'm going to swap that into a different token, which will be uh, BUSD. So I've got that here. You can see I've got some in my account already and the amount is you know around a hundred bucks. So what I can do now is just click on swap uh, like this. It's going to come up with this confirmation, confirm swap. 
um, except the price just updated. So I'm going to confirm swap here, wait for that to go through, confirm it with my MetaMask. Um, the gas fees are going to be super low on Binance Smart Chain. They're going to be much higher on Ethereum or anything like that. Um, so we'll just wait for that to go through. So that is how you swap from one coin to another. You have to use a decentralized exchange, link up your MetaMask um, with you know the, the DEX. You can see my transaction has gone through now. So what I'm going to do is come over to my MetaMask again. And what you should see is that the balances are updated. And you'll see that down here, uh, BUSD now, I have you know that hundred or so dollars of BUSD. So that is how you link up um, MetaMask with an exchange and actually go through and trade. And just to show you again, linking it up and how you would do that, we'll go through to another application like a lending protocol. Um, again, I'll do this on the Binance Smart Chain. So we can come over to something like Venus um, and then you can use your MetaMask again. So you should be able to link it up directly. It's going to uh, search. And if you're on the wrong network, it's gonna say switch. Then we can come to BUSD right here. Um, and it should be able to find how much I have in my account. So you can see 107, which it should be. Um, the current supply APY is about 5%. So that's what you're earning as an annual yield on your BUSD, which is a stable coin, US dollar stable coin. I'm just gonna click supply. Um, it's gonna take me through to MetaMask, um, go through with this transaction. So you can see the fees are super low, click confirm. What you have to make sure is that you have enough uh, of the coin of the blockchain to pay for fees. So that's really important that if you're on Binance Smart Chain, you have to have BNB to pay for fees. If you're on Ethereum, you'll need ETH. If you're on Polygon Network, you'll need Matic. So that's really important to know that you will always need uh, the base layer coin to pay for fees when you're using MetaMask and when you're using blockchains. You can see as I'm speaking, that actually went through. Um, so the amount uh, has doubled now. So that's, you know, that's earning the yield on, uh, on the Venus protocol on Binance Smart Chain. That's really the basics of getting set up on MetaMask and using applications on the blockchain. Uh, if you wanna know how I invest in crypto over the long term and how I set up my portfolio, my crypto investor course goes way more in depth into all of the blockchain and crypto industry, how to invest, how to buy and trade and everything like that. I'll leave that in the description. Other helpful videos are down there as well. I'm James with Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.